What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. UFC from Anaheim, California just happened this past Saturday, headlined by Daniel Cormier versus Stipe Miocic for a rematch heavyweight championship of the world, co-headlined by the long, long-awaited long return of uh, Nate Diaz versus Anthony Pettis uh, at the welterweight division, uh, then Paulo Costa versus Yoel Romero, uh, kind of the three top fights uh, selling this card. A lot of hype with those those fights alone. Uh, going into this, uh, the MMA media was just nauseating to listen to the the talk of this card being the most stacked card of the year uh, or most exciting card of the year. Maybe the the other cards that were stacked didn't end up living up to expectation, but there's been, in my opinion, uh, plenty of stacked cards, like stacked from the first fight to the headliner, stacked with names. Uh, but this one indeed was a good one. I just think people, at least MMA media, have a gigantic crush on Daniel Cormier and think he's the best thing ever. Uh, and, uh, thankfully he lost, uh, don't get me wrong. I think Daniel Cormier is, is great. Uh, I think that he, his, him and his management have done a beautiful job picking names of big fighters at particular times, uh, to win. I mean, he did beat Stipe, uh, which was a big win. He's had big wins in his, his career, but, uh, Yes, this was finally at least the 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 heavyweight belt is a belt that he actually won. Let's put it that way. He never really beat anybody for the light heavyweight championship belt. Uh, was just kind of given it because John Jones was such a fuck up. Um, but uh, yeah, so Stipe won it. Very nervous. I mean, overall, I watched. Uh, I was able to watch the entire card from early fight past prelims. Uh, just a bunch of decisions to start off the night. Good fights, uh, but they all ended up going to decisions up until the the feature bout for the prelim card, a lightweight fight uh, versus Kama Worthy versus uh, Devontae Smith. Uh, ended up with a knockout from Worthy. He ended up getting a bonus from that because uh, there were no finishes yet. And it was a good... Good finish overall, lightweight division, stacked division, uh, but I think Worthy, I think he came in on th like five days notice, and both of those guys are friends, uh, but it was, I mean, a, a quick a quick win uh, for, for Worthy. Um, and then the main card started, uh, Derek Brunson, who is somebody that has been very inconsistent lately, has not looked great at all. Uh, despite, I think he's gotten some wins. Ian Heinish, kind of an up-and-comer. Uh, but Brunson, Brunson looked good. He looked far more measured. Uh, ended up getting the win from decision, uh, but nothing very exciting. I think, I think he's gun-shy. I think he's just gun... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I know part of it is that he's just being more methodical uh, with his fighting and uh, game planning and uh, I think recently started actually being coached by somebody for the first time um but it was a good win i don't know Derek brunson that this is the first fight where i'm like i'm not excited about Derek brunson fighting i mean i think he lost he won his last fight against uh theodoro i think it was and uh in i would imagine a very unexciting fight because theodoro tends to be in those types of fights uh so I wasn't very excited. Uh, Sadiq Youssef versus Gabriel Benitez was a good fight as well. Um, that was the second KO, TKO of the night. Uh, good win for him. Uh, kind of a back and forth. Uh, there was only a first round. I don't know. Maybe I just don't remember it. Uh, Paulo Costa versus Yo Romero. Just a war. A war. This was one looking forward to. You got Costa, who's like up and comer. Uh, both of these guys just carved out of stone. Uh, they have the most ridiculous physiques for MMA fighters. Uh, and Costa somehow is able to keep 
keep a gas tank. Yoel Romero, known for gassing out. Uh, he's cheated, questionably cheated uh, in corners before to stretch and get more time to rest. Um, but he's still in the game. Yoel Romero's like 40. Paula Costa's like 20, 23, early 20s, I think. Uh, so I don't know. Costa probably next in line uh, for the middleweight championship after uh, we'll see how um, the Kiwis and the Aussies finish things up here coming up uh, next month, I think. Uh, but yeah, good win for Costa. It was a close fight. Some people thought Romero won it. I thought Costa won it. Uh, or we at least I wasn't upset with the decision. That's It was a close fight. It's a close fight. I think just more pressure with Costa uh, and Yoel. Just I think with Yoel having to, he really has to pace himself and really take moments to rest, especially in a five-round fight. This is only a three-round fight. Uh, but Yoel was definitely kind, kind of letting, in moments where he was trying to recover, Costa was able to, to you know, put on the pressure and throw punches. Uh, so not that surprising that he won. Uh, Nate Diaz, which is probably the biggest, biggest uh, thing I was looking forward to. Nate Diaz's return against Anthony Pettis. These are both lightweight fighters fighting at, at uh, welterweight, not cutting weight. Uh, I think Diaz looked great at 170. Definitely looked better than uh, at least his first fight with Connor. I, I don't remember the second fight. I think they fought at 170 in that one also. Uh, but yeah, Diaz looked great. A little, little slow to begin, but turned it up and got uh, just a pretty dominant performance against Pettis. Uh, just looked great. It was a fun fight, fun fight, but it was a unanimous decision to Nate Diaz, um, and just a good matchup. Kind of you know two big names. Uh, Diaz called out uh, Masvidal afterwards, which I think is an amazing uh, matchup. Uh, I don't, I don't know I don't know if I really like Diaz's chances in that fight but I'm down for that fight for sure. Also love Diaz smoking a joint during the open workouts. Uh CBD which you know the UFC I think is partnering with a CBD sponsor so maybe there was uh, some tie in there but Diaz has been smoking there's a Diaz rule in their drug policies uh because of diaz vaping cbd after a fight um but you can get cbd like they it's just uh, they just g engineer these plants to be cbd dominant so there's very low thc in it so you can it doesn't have to be in an extract it's you can actually smoke it in a joint too which is kind of interesting because cbd is legal everywhere uh so although you can test for thc but uh, it's just like a loophole for smoking a joint out in public. It's like, well, it's CBD. Um, you know, it smells the same. It just doesn't supposedly doesn't have uh, THC in it. Uh, so I don't know. I, I'd be curious to know if people in other states could get away with saying uh, just a joint as CBD. Because in California, it's recreationally legal. So this, the stigma of smoking weed in California is far different than somewhere like Wisconsin, where they like to throw people in jail or Texas, where you're a criminal uh, for doing almost anything. No freedoms in some of those countries, some of those states. It's crazy. Uh, and then, of course, Stipe Miocic gets a big win against Daniel Cormier. Uh, just Cormier had his moments for sure. He was landing, but Stipe just rode it out in the fourth round, was able to put some punches together and uh, eventually knock out DC. I was very happy. I love Stipe. Uh, I hope. I was hoping Cormier would retire. Doesn't look like he is. Um, if they do a third fight, I'm good with that with Stipe. No desire to see Cormier fight uh, John Jones again. No desire whatsoever. Uh, but if they did a, a third with Stipe, I'd be down. Um, but yeah, not, no, no picks, no preview for there's no fights next Saturday. I'll be making my picks next week on the show. New episodes of this show come out daily. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go buy my original artwork, ink paintings on paper, uh, over at my website, inspireddisorder.com. Uh, and you can save 25% because you're a listener of this show or, or a viewer of this show. Uh, save 25% with coupon code RTS. 
at Ray Taylor for me on all social media. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Out.